and welcome back to Anne's Family Recipe. It's Crocktober, so today I have three very easy but super delicious recipes to make in your slow cooker. And if you're curious, still pregnant. I'm starting with smothered pork chops. So whenever I make a crock pot recipe, I always spray the inside first, just so nothing sticks. And for my family of six, I used two packages of center cut pork chops. So I'm placing all eight of those inside my crock pot. Next, I season the pork chops with kosher salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and my new favorite spice blend that I found in Walmart. It's this Kinder's Buttery Burger Blend and it gives so much flavor. I love it. I've been putting it on everything. <laughs> Speaking of flavor, for the sauce, I used one cup of chicken broth, one can of cream of mushroom soup, one can of cream of chicken soup, and one package of dried onion soup mix, and then I stirred this all together. All I had to do was pour this sauce all over the seasoned pork chops, and then I set my crock pot to low for five hours, and these cooked all day long and made the house smell absolutely amazing. I wanted to show you quickly the sides that I served with my smothered pork chops. So to start, I made air fried Brussels sprouts. I cut the stems off at the bottom and usually the outer couple of leaves will fall off and then I have my Brussels sprouts. And then I just drizzle them with maybe about a tablespoon of olive oil and some kosher salt, sometimes a little pepper and garlic powder depending on how I'm feeling. Toss them around and then you can put them in the air fryer at 400 degrees, probably for about 10 to 15 minutes. You wanna toss them every few minutes and just check on them until they're at your desired doneness. So we like some of those charred outer leaves. They're almost like Brussels sprout potato chips, but we don't want the bigger pieces of Brussels sprouts to get too soft. So I probably cooked mine for about 12 minutes until they were fork tender. On this evening, I served the smothered pork chops over a bed of rice, which is the perfect vehicle to absorb all that incredible sauce. These would also be great with mashed potatoes or egg noodles. Definitely try this one out. It's easy and delicious. Next up, I'm making Mississippi chicken, which is my favorite of the three recipes I'm sharing with you today. So again, I sprayed my crock pot and I'm adding two giant chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, that I had trimmed any fat off of. And then for this Mississippi sauce, you're using one packet of ranch seasoning and one packet of brown gravy mix. You could also use like a prepackaged au jus mix. And then you'll add in a handful of pepperoncini peppers and also just about a quarter cup of the juices too. And this adds a tiny bit of heat and a little bit of a tangy vinegary flavor to the sauce too. I added half a stick of butter and a cup of water as well, just to create a little more of this really good sauce. And then this cooked on high for about four hours. You can also use this sauce for a pot roast, which is now the only way I make pot roast because it is so incredible. I've also made Mississippi pot roast meatballs, so I have videos for both of those that I'll link for you down below. So now four hours are up and my chicken is ready to be shredded. On this evening, I served it over mashed potatoes, but you could also put this onto small sandwich buns and these make incredible sliders. We particularly like them on Hawaiian buns with some sharp cheddar cheese. It just tastes amazing. So this is another easy, super flavorful dinner that I think you're going to love. Last up, I have a chicken chili recipe. I know this is very common when you're watching Crocktober videos, but I accidentally bought creamed corn instead of 
regular corn at Aldi, and that is my secret weapon, secret ingredient for this dish that makes it extra creamy and has a tiny bit of sweetness in the background. It's such a good recipe. So again, I started by spraying my crock pot and I added two more giant boneless skinless chicken breasts. I drained and rinsed one can of whole corn kernels along with two cans of great northern beans, and I put those in over top of the chicken. Then I diced up one onion and a couple cloves of garlic, put those in the pot, on top of that, I had one can of Rotel, which is diced tomatoes and green chilies. You could also just use one small can of green chilies if you don't like the tomatoes. Next was the can of creamed corn. Then I added a sprinkling of kosher salt and black pepper and about a half a teaspoon each of cumin, oregano, garlic powder, and chili powder. Lastly, I poured four cups or 32 ounces of chicken broth all over the top, and then this one cooked on high for four hours. When there were about 30 minutes left in the cooking process, I added half a brick of softened cream cheese and stirred it in a little bit, covered the soup again, and then allowed that to melt in, and this made it extra creamy. So the final step after this is cooked for four hours is to shred up the chicken. So I just used two forks. It pulls apart so easily because it's super tender by this point. And this soup had incredible flavor, just a slightly different twist than other chicken chilies with that creamed corn. And to finish it off, I did chop up an entire bunch of cilantro on top. And this adds a really nice fresh flavor at the end too. So once you stir that in, you can serve it up just as it is, which is what we did and it was amazing. But you could also have some toppings for it, maybe some shredded cheddar cheese, some sour cream, a little bit of crushed up tortilla chips. This is a total winner. Make sure you check my description box below for even more delicious crock pot recipes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram at Anne's Family Recipe, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my crock pot recipes today. Thank you so much for joining me here in my kitchen, and I'll see you again soon with more family recipes.